Oh boy, do I have some good news for you guys. Can't even finish my haiku without being interrupted. Everybody that has been waiting for a character like Kaida Harakaza to come back to Genshin Impact, he's actually probably making a very good, you know, it's a really good chance that he actually comes back to the game in Genshin Impact. 2.8 the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because in genshin impact 2.8 it is rumored that we're going to get the islands back again if you guys remember from last year in around the summertime we've had the islands being introduced for the first time and as we all know when the islands were first introduced we were also introduced to a new boss called magu kenki and that boss actually led to the arrival of this new character Kaidahara Kaza. Now, the nice thing about Kaidahara Kaza is that even if you just started the game, he's technically an Inazuman character, but I'm pretty sure that you can get all of his materials from Leaway. Meaning, if you do summon for this character, it's probably going to be a really, really good choice for you, especially if you just started the game. And not to mention, he's one of the best characters in Genshin Impact in terms of both support capabilities as well as damage. He is quite the strong character. Now, my Kaida Harakaza isn't, you know, the greatest of all time, but he does what I need him to do. Kaza does scale tremendously on elemental mastery and i'll tell you guys why in a second for those of you who obviously don't know kaida harakaza but if you guys know kaida harakaza you know what's up kaida harakaza scales on elemental mastery because of his swirl capabilities as well as a little special talent that he has that for each point of elemental mastery you have you gain a 0.04 percent of elemental damage bonus per elemental mastery so that is going to be massive. So you're going to swirl. You're going to give that bonus to the element that you have swirled. This is amazing and allows you to really get the most out of so many characters. In fact, if you run them with four piece of the Viridescent Venator set, you're going to get a 40% decrease in resistance to all of your opponent, which is really, really big, especially for a character like Kaida Kaza. Not to mention, he's fantastic at C0, but he's godlike at C1. So I highly suggest if you guys have the capabilities to actually get C1, because you're going to be able to use your E skill more, and you're going to be able to use it e twice. So that is super, super nice. And Kaido Akaza in general is one of my favorite characters, not just because of how he's designed, because let's face it, his design is pretty cool, but also because he has so much, he's so viable in the game and allows you to support your entire team. He allows you to get an amazing damage buff from the elemental damage bonus, and he's super fun to play with in the overworld as you're able to traverse really easy. You almost have a double jump when you do that, so that's super, super nice to have he's one of my favorite characters in the game not because he's for some reason i really like animal characters so it might be a little bit biased but not just because he's animal but because he's super super agile he's fast he you can rotate with him really well he gets a lot of energy particles back and he's just an overall amazing character i i, mean, I guess we could just show you guys how it's done in a little bit of a boss battle against the magu kenki okay so how this is going to work is i'm going to show you the damage before dealing the buff and then i'm going to show you guys the damage after dealing the buff so here we go we're gonna use shinkcho here we're gonna use that we're gonna use our ultimate here we're not going to use his buff just yet we're doing 14,000, 13,000, and obviously oh, that is a big number so now we're going to use uh, our Shinkcho before we do anything. And then after that, we can use Kaira Harakaza. All right, here we go. Elemental skill. Get this back. Boom. Boom. We're going to use uh, Shinkcho's ult as well. We're going to use Kaira Harakaza's ult. And we're going to use him at the very end. Now we're getting 19,000 damage, which is 20,000 damage, in fact which is pretty big. Actually, it's 19,000. So that's what you guys should be focused on because afterwards, I do get a buff from my C1 from my Kamisato Ayato. So anything above that 19,000 that you saw probably was because of C1. So yeah, pretty massive buff. If I do have to say so myself, this is without the Bennett buff. So 
so you guys can pretty much get an idea of how much Kaido Harakaza can do for you once you do have him. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty easy, simple video. You guys all know Kaido Harakaza. That is why you guys want to summon on him. If I were to give my own opinion, I would say summon on him 100% of the time, 200% of the time even. He is such a fantastic character. Highly suggest everyone to get him. But that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.